All right, guys, what's up? Sam Gas back up here. <clears throat> Today, we got a bit of a different scene. I'm not in the car. I'm just at home. But I'm going to be telling you guys about the 2020 Dodge Charger wide body. This fall, probably in October. Not much that's really new for the Challenger lineup. Stuff that's new for the Charger lineup, finally. The six models with the 3.6. There's the SXT, SXT all-wheel drive, and GT. Then you move up to the 5.7 RT. Daytona is no longer a individual trim. It is a package available on the RT and Scat Pack trim levels. So... On the RT, nothing's really new. Then the Scat Pack, SRT motor, non-SRT trim. But to be fair, there is no SRT trim 6.4 charger anymore or Challenger. In my opinion, Scat Pack is a SRT. A lot of people say it's not, but has SRT motor. It's the same thing as SRT 392. That's why the SRT 392 is discontinued because the Scat Pack is too similar and cheaper so nobody was buying the SRT 392 they weren't selling now they're just selling scat packs discontinued SRT 392 so how can you say a scat pack is not an SRT either way standard it comes the same same body everything performance body but optional now brand new wide body that's the highlight of the 2020 charger lineup the scat pack and the helicab scat pack comes optional now with the wide body the standard is same thing as 2018, $40,000, but the wide body, just about $6,000 package, just like it was on the Challenger. But you get a lot for that 6,000. When you open the door, it kind of looks weird because the flares come out with the door. The rear of the car itself looks absolutely crazy in my opinion. The vents in the rear bumper are huge. The exhaust tips just look huge. They might even be the same, but they look even bigger because of how the car looks. Rear spoiler, one piece spoiler is different too. That doesn't have the angles, which I don't really like that. I like the angles like, like mine has on the spoiler. One piece spoiler. Yeah, then of course you got the flares, the side skirts are wider, the wider tires, wider wheels, 305 tires, 20 inch wheel, very concave wheel, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's the same wheel as the Hellcat comes with, six piston Brembos, and the front has like a SRT Jeep slash SRT Durango type look, the little opening by the grill, and yeah, just a wider stance overall, it looks crazy, but uh... The Charger is already a huge car as is, so I can only imagine how wide it's going to be. So MSRP on a base scat with just a wide body package is about 46000 Would you be willing to pay 46000 for the wide body? I don't know. I think it's crazy. I mean, it looks really nice. Obviously, the car will perform better, but uh, it all just depends what you're really using the car for. If you're just daily driving, maybe the wide body might not be worth it. If you're racing it and you really care about the performance, might be worth it. As far as the Hellcat goes though, the Hellcat is the same MSRP, about 70. Everything I've said thus far is official news. Part that I'm about to say now is not official, but I'm speculating it this way. The MSRP is the same on the Hellcats because they're downgrading a lot of the standard features. So the Hellcat is now gonna come standard with cloth seats just like the Challenger did. It comes with less interior features. Downgrading that in order to compensate for the wide body package. What else they're downgrading, I don't know, but uh, they're definitely compensating something to offset the cost because the wide body package is standard and then having to add 6,000 to the cost. Charger Hellcats are already not as popular as Challenger Hellcats. That's the news I got, like I said, Part of it is for sure confirmed Mopar insiders. The other part is me speculating, but I mean, what else could it be? Why would the price be the exact same on a, on a standard Hellcat, which now comes with the wide body, but they didn't offset the cost somehow. You know, it's a typical Dodge move. Like I said before, typical Dodge moves is uh, cheapening out the cars, 
That is what it is. They still make sick cars and they make sick motors. If you're thinking about getting a Hellcat, 2020 Hellcat or 2020 wide body scat pack charger, let me know in the comments below, man. And uh, please post videos of it or something or comment your Instagram. I really want to see all these when uh, people start buying them. I would really like to buy one, but who knows? It would be cool. Have fun. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.